Hello fellow Amiga users, I'm Bill. I'm Anthony. And we are the Guru Meditation. Come with us today when we do a follow-up to our ham conversion video. You know, I was about to say, I thought we already did this. I, I didn't even realize this was a follow-up. I thought maybe you didn't have the camera running or something. It was so much fun, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like I said, uh, this episode generated a lot of great comments. Uh, so I just want to like touch on a few of the highlights here. Now, sorry, I can't call everyone out because there were so many great comments. I feel bad, like some people are gonna get left out. But guys, I really appreciate all the positivity and all the great comments you left. Uh, it's really awesome, and that's what this YouTube channel is all about: is just discussion and you know learning from you guys as well. First up, our man Coco is from Poland. Uh, he recommended a Java app on PC called Ham Convert. He was wondering how it compared to, to AdPro, but I thought it's cool that there's actually a Java app that's multi-platform. Well, yeah, and some people may not want to boot up their Amiga. They may not have one. They may not want to bring up a whole entire emulator just to do this. And it's great if you have just an app that you can just pop into, convert to ham. And I mean, if the quality's there, then uh, you know, what does it matter which tool you use? Uh, the Blitter Underground, he suggested that he uses something called uh, Grim, which is a free Amiga app, and that's an alternative to AdPro. So we'll check that one out. And we'll act sufficiently grim while we do it. <laughs> now a big topic, a couple of people, uh, including someone named Trachu and Troy Wilkins, they're, they weren't buying my whole, you know, let's, let's do it at a higher resolution uh, method. Uh, my idea was that let's convert to a ham mode at the highest resolution possible because eventually like, we're going to have to upscale to 1920 by 1080 anyway for YouTube. So I wanted like, the least amount of artifacting during the upscale. So I want to start with a maximum Amiga resolution. But these guys are like, no, 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 no. OCS, Amiga 500, 320 by 200 ham mode, that's the way you should do it. Come well, on guys, much as I love the 1000, at some point, you got to upgrade to an AGA <laughs> machine. You just, you just got it. I found out that Trachu is actually a beta tester for uh, Ham Convert, so uh, he is, he's a ham guru. So it was a pleasure talking to him and and talking ham with Trachu. <laughs> Mr. Dingo ate my dingo. <laughs> he say that three times real <laughs> <no> fast. <laughs> well, Mr. Dingo, uh, he would like to see it in Ham Eight mode, so we'll throw up a Ham Eight image real quick. Cool well, AGA. I think we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. James Perrin, uh, he, this is a man, James is a man who accepts nothing but the best quality. And he's like, hey, you did a JPEG export out of your Photoshop and brought that into AdPro. Uh, no, no, I have none of that. I want uncompressed. The man, the man knows quality. He's the one pulling up next to you asking for the Grey Poupon. Exactly. So, so James will show you how to import some uncompressed files. All right, well, here's the big one here, the big hot topic, in my opinion, was, you know, why didn't you do 320 by 200 mode? And it was because I didn't want to upscale to 1080p from such a low resolution. Because, like, when I look at an image in 320 by 200 on a CRT monitor, it doesn't look that bad. When I look at a 320 by 200 uh, image on a modern monitor, it looks kind of bad. So I was like, you know what? But I never did a head-to-head -head comparison, so let's do a head-to-head -head comparison, and here we have it. Over here, the New York City skyline, 320 by 200, ham 6 mode, Floyd dithering. Boom, right there. And it, I, it looks sweet. It looks really, really you sweet. Get my nose right up on that monitor. Ah, that interlace flicker. I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. But what, really, we're here to look at the picture. And yeah, it I looks, mean... It you, looks like you know, I remember. If, yeah. if you were viewing some image that you downloaded from a BBS, if you were playing some game, this, this would look perfectly normal. Now over here, we have the 320 by 200 upscaled to 1920 by 1080. This is a 1920 by 1080 monitor. And uh, it doesn't look good at all. It looks pretty. It looks pretty dank. Yeah, this looks <laughs> like when you when you try to enlarge some of those uh, little tiny videos you used to watch when you were on dial-up internet, and uh, you know everything got so blocky that it was hard to even discern what some things are. I mean, you can. What I love about this, and what's interesting, is you can see some aspects in each of the picture, like these three yellow lines on this building, and you can see them on both. You know, it gives you kind of a reference for, like, they look crisp here. Right. But you enlarge them on this monitor and they, they start to get very fuzzy. Yep. There's like, they don't have that crispness that you see on the CRT. Of course, the CRT being smaller. Right, is a little smaller. Um, and also, you know, this, these 
resolutions were designed for CRT. Right. They weren't designed for LCDs. No. So, you know, it, this is all just theoretical. This is not like scientific. No. Like, I, I have the utmost respect for these guys. Like, Trachu is a genius. And he's right. If you want to be pure, 320 by 200. I was trying to emulate that on our YouTube channel. That's, that is what I wanted it to look like. So, I'm happy with my choice, but I have the most respect for Trachu. And uh, this is a really, really, really cool experiment. But for me, this upscale 320 is uh, looking pretty, pretty rugged. No, this isn't. <laughs> this isn't what you would have experienced on the Amiga of the day. Right. You would, that's not how you, your eyes would have seen it, and it doesn't evoke the reaction in you that you had when you saw it on your 1084 monitor. Unfortunately, here we have our camera here that's shooting the screens, and there's no way to, to you know, for you guys to perceive like what we're seeing with our eyes. You know, this is just an approximation. But uh, you can't really even tell like how blocky and bad this looks you, on this camera. But. To, to give a to put it in words, like this this looks like a photograph. This looks like a watercolor painting. Perfect. Now let's go check out my resolution, the 724 by 482. Boom. Wow. Now okay, and here we go. Like I have to be honest, this does look better than that. Yeah. So I think the truth is somewhere between my theory and Trachu's theory. I think that's where the truth lies. This is definitely like much sharper, much higher resolution, much more detail than the 320 by 200 even on the CRT. So I probably should have picked a resolution somewhere in between. <laughs> but you know, this is all just theoretical and fun anyway. Well, thanks a lot, Trotru and Choi, for bringing up this, uh, this experiment. This is a really fun experiment. So I appreciate that comment very much. Now, let's transition to Cocos' comment, because Trotru has a, a hand in that as well. Let's, uh, let's check out the Ham Convert app. All right, so here we are in uh, Ham Convert. It's a nice, uh, simple little app. Um, it looks like we need to choose a source file. And being that this is Trachu software, let's load up 320 by 200 form because I know he uh, he accepts oh. nothing, nothing but all. Don't the want to upset it. Yes. <laughs> Amiga OCS Ham 6, obviously, is what we want. Uh, but you also can do Ham 8. Oh, you can do a AAA Ham 10, and you have all sorts of really cool options here for the conversion. It's a really, really nice little piece of software. Let's click on our options tab. This is, uh, we'll write the ham map that I was telling you about. It's, um, like I said, it's just, uh, it's just kind of a, a fun export. Uh, this will write an IFF file. So yeah, give me all that stuff. We can uh, turn on dithering. So we'll do our Floyd Steinberg mm -hmm. dithering. Just like, just like Ed Pro. <laughs> yeah, and there's some other like more uh, refined settings that you can experiment with here that has to do with uh, the quality. I'm not going to go into that now. We're just trying to give you a brief overview of this. Um, plus, I haven't delve that deeply into the ham convert yet. Uh, let's check out our, uh, our extra options. I'm not sure exactly what this, how this will affect the image, uh, the stretching, the contrast, and IFF early compression. Normally I like to keep my contrast the way, I, the way I want it, but you know what? I'm gonna keep all these at the default settings and just see how it does. And it looks like you can also do a batch conversion, which is really, really cool. <laughs> that can come in handy for some future projects I have in mind. Let's go back to the screen and uh, let's convert. There she goes. Conversion completed. Wow. There's our it's little almost Java. too fast. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's check it out. It generated an error map PNG, a hand map PNG, an IFF file, and a PNG file. So let's check out our PNG file first. There it is. Looks pretty amazing. That looks like a 320 by 200 Floyd Steinberg dithering. Yep. Very nice conversion. I like this little app. It's very cool. Yeah, nice and quick. Yeah, and there's the IFF file, so you can load it up on your Amiga or your emulator. So here's the error map. And it, it, in and of itself, is kind of cool <laughs> artwork. It's kind of like this ghostly image. The ham has so many pixels to get from one color to another, and this is showing you where the, you may be a little too tight, your, your, your colors are too different in certain spots. Brighter pixels equals higher errors, so I guess that's uh, where it was more difficult for it to create the image. I'm sure Trachu would chime in in the chat and, uh, and clarify that for us. <laughs> and here we have a ham map, and that thing it looks really cool. This is basically, uh, I think, the image that the Amiga uses to create the ham image. Uh, black equals set, red equals modify red, green equals modify green, and blue equals modify blue. Right, if you remember from the last show, we told you that ham mode, what the computer was doing basically to save memory and bandwidth was it was taking a pixel and modifying one color as it moved along to the adjacent pixels. So what that map is, it's basically showing you which color it was modifying for each pixel in the picture. That's pretty neat. <laughs> so lots of cool stuff comes from Hand Convert. Th Cocos, thanks so much for uh, 
for letting us know about this piece of software. I'm gonna have fun playing with this. Right, and it kind of gives you a window into what this machine was actually doing when you created those images. It's awesome. All right, so let's check out this, uh, this Grim app over on the Amiga that the Blitter Underground suggested to us. It's good, now we're back on the machine that we want to be playing this is, with. This is where we want to be, this is exactly. It's cool. Now we have a, a bunch of options here. It looks mm. like you can choose which mode you want to boot up into. This is what yeah. we loved seeing back in the day was when you got a program, you had an accelerator card, and you saw these different optimized versions of the executable that would make use of either your 030, your 020, or your uh, FPU coprocessor, and you were like, oh yeah, I'm going to get the maximum performance. <laughs> well, I have an 030 in here, and I don't see an option for an 030, but I do have an FPU, so I'm going to go uh, 020 FPU. I think that's a smart choice. Yep. And here we are. It's a nice, uh, clean interface. Again, a real simple app, much like the ham convert. Let's load in an image. For James, we're going to load in an uncompressed image. So let's try loading in a 320 by 224 bit PNG file. Uncompressed. Nice. Loading it there in. There you go. You got a little progress thing. There's your there image. There it is. Beautiful. And now you can, uh, you can save it as a bunch of different formats. You can save IFF, BMP, JPEG, Targa, TIFF, PPM, Deep Color, PNG. Wow, there's a lot of options. This is yeah. a sweet little app. You can manipulate the photo, which is really cool. You can change the color balance. Awesome. Lots of, uh, lots of opportunity to manipulate the photo here. Brightness, contrast, saturation. Color, you can pick your, your color mode. And again, you have uh, all sorts of dithering over here. There's our Floyd. Yeah. Floyd's, Floyd's back, Steinberg. Jarvis. Yeah, we love him. <laughs> so uh, it's a nice uh, like image manipulation program as well. It's more than just a converter. Oh, look at this. You can actually do crops. You can add a border. You can flip the x-axis or the y-axis, so lots of really nice options here. Then you have some like some some specialty things. You can do a, a convolve. You can uh, work with the palette. Really, really nice. You can resample the image. Wow, there's a lot of things you can do with this app. It's pretty cool. You can do some distortions. <laughs> uh, so you can shear, you can rotate it, you can bend it, pinch it, whirl it, custom. Haven't really played this program other than now, yeah. but it looks like there's lots of cool ha stuff. Have you can at do. it. Yeah. <laughs> right on, Bullet Underground. Thanks for that recommendation. We'll definitely be playing with some Grim. It was great to see a new app um, out there and just uh, something to play around with. Yeah, this and one cool. that will accept other files because uh, like an uncompressed PNG, you can't load into Adpro 2, yeah. but you can do it here. Pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's address Mr. Dingo Ate My Dingo and gotta let's, let's address, do some ham Gotta aid. address Dingo. With a, man, with a name like that, you will not be ignored. <laughs> I'm going to go back here. I'm going to load up my 24-bit image in the 724 by 482 mode. Load that sucker in. Keep that smoothing on. You guys already know, you guys already know this workflow. And uh, just to, to remind you, all these pictures will be dumped into our, our public folder for your enjoyment at home. Instead of ham, we're going ham eight. 256K, baby. Yep, 256,000 colors. Okay, and let's execute that. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. It looks just like the original. You know, th that this looks is gorgeous. Clo much closer to that. Again, over here on the right, we have the um, 724 by 482, uh, 4096 color regular ham mode image, and this CRT is putting it to shame. I mean, this ham eight mode looks just like the 24 bit on a modern computer. Right, yeah, I mean, looking at this and comparing it to there, now this is making that look like a painting. Uh, you could see a lot of detail. Um, it's super it's sharp, gorgeous. super crisp. You can really see the detail back here in the background, like when you get down to Wall Street area, it's all that information is retained, where here is just kind of like a, a blur. Yeah, it starts to just get muddy. The ham eight looks sweet. It looks just like a 24 bit on a modern computer, man. It's, it's incredible, <laughs> it's incredible. All right, well that wraps up our first follow-up episode. This was a lot of fun, man. I really enjoyed like responding to all the comments in video format besides just like typing in answers to all the comments. It was awesome learning about new software and the interaction with you guys is just really, really incredible. Guys, we really appreciate all the comments and all the positivity that you guys generate and uh, we, we love interacting with you guys and we're just so thankful to have so many awesome followers. Right, and as soon as we turn this camera off, of course, I'm going to go and download this software because, I mean, new software back in the day was always exciting. And you know what? It's, it's just as exciting now, new software for the Amiga. I've got about 9,000 images I need to convert to ham mode now. <laughs> that, that you're going to love that batch processing, I'm sure. Batch it up, baby. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next episode of The Guru Meditation. <laughs> ¶¶